Hey, welcome, welcome. It's good to have you. I'm so excited that you're here. Um, today is Thursday, I think. Yes, it is Thursday. <laughs> I'm never sure, so it's always good to check. Um, every Thursday, I go live in my Facebook group and on my Facebook page now, and I share it in my group, and then, and also on YouTube uh, every Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern time, and uh, we create something trendy or trending um, on Teachers Pay Teachers. And then, uh, well, we used to list it, but now I just give you a course that's free that you can have and list it. If you want to find that, you can go to Bethany Averill, which is like this.com slash next, like the next step. Um, if you want to grab that, uh, good morning, good morning. It's great to see you guys. Um, yeah, so uh, today we're going to be making something for Earth Day. Um, I have not decided yet what we were going to make because I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm going to make some vet things for like um, dramatic play. And then I was like, it'll go with my course. And then I was like, you know what? I think I want to just put that in the course. I don't think I want to do another Trendy Thursday on it. So I changed my mind. Good morning, Veronica. And um, <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know if that's trendy enough. So I'll just do that. I'll just put that in the course so that I'm not taking up more time for people who don't want to do um, uh, dramatic play printables, which is fine if you do or you don't, you live your life. Um, but for those who don't know, um, I have been trying to put a new course in my membership every month. Oh my gosh, I have so much dog hair on me. Sorry. Um, it just keeps touching me. That's the problem is that it's touching me. Uh, <laughs> so every month I've been making a new course this month. Well, last month was dramatic play. Um, and then this month is going to be talking about how to use different types of clip art. And then next month, I'm probably going to do classroom decor, I imagine, but I haven't decided. Um, so that's that. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. Um, can you explain dramatic play again? Sorry, I burned frog. Is dramatic play good for autism children? So, um, Dramatic play printables, basically, it's like setting up a little um, part of your, of course, the sun comes out just as I, okay, uh, it's in my eyeballs, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> we have so much dog hair in the house right now with five dogs standing their winter coat. Yeah, yeah, I just have the one, but she's, you know, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> so dramatic play is basically you set up like a little uh, section of your classroom or your like playroom or whatever, and you make it into like a, a pretend play uh, area. So uh, for for a veterinary clinic, uh, you would do something like um, you'd have like a banner that's like this is a veterinary clinic. You'd have little x-rays that they can, you know, look at and pretend that they're the vet or you would have like um, different things set up so that they can treat animals. Like you put them a little, give them a little, it's a little uh, like bandage things that stick to themselves. And you could put that on like, <laughs> Uh, you know, like little stuffed animals, or you could have little pretend splints that you get at Build-A-Bear, you know, like silly stuff like that. Um, you can have like a sign-in sheet. You would add, you know, your hours of operation. So basically, I, I give you like um, the basic things that are in most dramatic play printables, like labels and name tags and things like that. And then you can... Um, take that idea and kind of go nuts with it. And then, yeah. So the one that I, the one that I did was for um, like flower shops, but now I'm trying to do one for the veteran, vet, vet, veterinar, veterinary, veterinarians, the vet, a vet clinic. Um, but then I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to like force people to see that if they're not I wanted to do something more ready for everybody and because I wasn't sure that I would do it the way that I wanted. To. I feel like I feel like dramatic play. You have to kind of like 
there's a lot to it. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to make these, you know, like lacing cards and just I have this clip art. I'm going to do this and then bada bing, we're done. Um, I feel like um, dramatic play printables. And this is why I stayed away from it for so long was is that like it takes so much like you can't just have like one set of clip art. You have to have like a set of clip art and then you have to have like, you know, um, another set that has like the little puppy syringes. And then you have another one that has like little pet, um, you know, x-rays and then. Yeah, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Okay, so Nanarina says she's here, but she's working at the same time. That was great. Okay, um, and I think it can be adapted to autism. Autistic children need to learn and play and outings together. Exactly. Um, and that's kind of what it is. It's basically a safe place for children to learn about these things, like, you know, like going to the grocery store or going to the doctor um, and kind of, um, you know, make it, make it a safe place and make it some place where they can try things out. They can learn about it. And there's no like dumb questions, you know? Um, and it's like play. So they're learning through play. I, 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 I love dramatic play printables. They just, they've always kind of scared me because there's so much to them. Um, so yeah, I think that's just holding me back from like <laughs> putting this thing, uh, putting this thing out there is I just, I feel so, um, uh, I feel like I can't do it justice because it's such a big and amazing thing. So yeah, uh, that's what that is. Um, let's get going. So I said we, I said we're going to do Earth Day activities. I didn't pick an Earth Day activity yet. I just said that we're going to do that. So <laughs> let's find one. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're welcome. No worries. Um, okay. So I looked on, so on Teacher Space Teachers, you can just click on the search bar and it'll drop down things that are trendy and all that good stuff. Um, so Earth Day has a few. Well, as you can see, it's right here. So there's solar eclipse. I wouldn't do solar eclipse because it already happened. Um, but then there's Earth Day right here. Um, Earth Day. And there's crafts and writing and bulletin boards, which is something that will be on every keyword that you ever do. <laughs> there will always be activities and crafts and writing. Um, I think, okay, so another thing you can do is just add different letters. So you can do writing, word search, writing prompts, write the room. That's my favorite thing. But I feel like, didn't we just, didn't we just do that last week? I think we did. We did Easter, which is two weeks ago. So we, no best. No best. All right. So escape room. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but we talked about escape rooms with, uh, well, we didn't, but there was a think tank lady and she did um, escape rooms. So if you wanted to learn how to do that, I can get you a link for that. I don't remember what it is. Um, I can probably find it. Hold on. Hold on. Um, Bethanneverall.com slash think tank, maybe. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> um, let me see. I'm not sure. I made two additional Earth Day products last night. I want to create a bundle of them and the other two I've already listed. You should. Um, so you can do that. Like, have you made a bundle yet on Teachers by Teachers? Because you can do add new product and then you can just do a bundle. And with that, you you know, you do the same thing, a name and a description, and you'd still want to do a, a preview that's like its own preview. And um, uh, where is it? Oh, upload, upload thumbnails. You'd still want to do all the thumbnails. Um, and then up here, you would, here it is, you select resources to include. So you'd include things that are already on here, like... You know, I don't know if I have any Earth Day. I have two Earth Day things. So you can make something with two Earth Day things. Um, and then uh, I like to put all of the information from these on here. Like, this is what's included. Um, yeah. And then you could do a bonus file if you want. This is where I would probably put, like, if you if it was, like, classroom decor, I would put it all in one PDF and put that as the bonus file. Um, yeah, and then I usually do the discount price of 30% or 20%, usually 
I think they just added this 30% because I don't remember that. But yeah, and then you'd pick great, you, you know, the same thing as listing. Okay, so yeah, there's that. Renee, you're checking in for my Thursday entertainment. Oh, well, you are in the right place. Oh, Denise is here. Hi, Denise. Um, we talked about, Denise, I, I wanted to tell you, we talked about you on uh, Design Tips and Giggles. We did your store, and it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Um, I just wanted to give you a shout out. Your, your uh, what are these called? Um, cover photos are Chef's kiss. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Um, I created a word search. I saw your video and made a few changes. Thank you. Oh, that's great. They're great. Uh, I created a word search for a freebie extra for the bundle. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. So I got lost and I did not write down what I'm doing. So I'm going to write down right here. Earth Day activity. So we're not going to do ride the room, Beth. Because we already did that. Earth Day, not right the room. Not right the room. Okay, so why? No, there's nothing. Okay, so you, there's an Earth Day unit. That would be a good idea. Um, if I can't do that in one day. <laughs> she did stay to work on titles. I took notes. Yes, that's right. I do love doing right the rooms. I do. They're my favorite. Okay, Earth Day opinion writing. That would be fun for older kids. That's not really... How I live my life, but um, if this is something you're interested in, we have um, writing. Uh, what is that called? Uh, writing paper on the in the membership that you could use. So you could do this. Looks very similar to like um, oh, what was it? it was, I think it was St. Patrick's Day. We did a St. Patrick's Day one. Product listing, writing. <laughs> writing prompts since it's just gonna do right the room which i support uh so it was what i did over spring break so you have like your writing prompt and then you also give them papers for everything i think this is inside the membership on like i don't remember when but we did this last year i'm pretty sure it was last year because i did the same yeah <laughs> yeah we need to do, we need to work on redoing our previews. That should be our, maybe that'll be our June. Uh, I'm saying things and I'm not going to remember them. I just want you to know that. So don't, please don't. I'm going to write it down because, oh man, that's so funny. I'm just saying things, friends. All right, let's see. Make 52. Okay, so if you were, okay. Uh, so... Um, let me say May, June. So I'm going to write classroom decor for May. And then maybe previews. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm never going to see that again. So uh, feel free to remind me if there's anything that you're like, Beth, you should do this thing that you said you were going to do. Feel free to remind me. Okay. So that's something that you could do. So if you did like, like instead of doing these, these prompts, you could write like, um, you know, whatever, like uh, a renewable. Um, what's something that you could do? Um, so for Earth Day, well, I would ask Chatty. That's what I would do. I would say chat.openai.com. And I would say, hey there. I want to create a an Earth Day opinion writing resource for my fifth graders. Can you please help me come up with 35 different prompts they can use to write opinion pieces? And then you press enter. Oh. In middle school, I would do research projects on natural disasters for Earth Day. Oh, oh, that's a good one. My uh, my son talks about. Um, he's really big on um, 
natural disasters. He's not in middle school. He's in uh, fourth grade, but he's really big on like, uh, he's worried about, <laughs> this poor kid, he's worried about tsunamis, which is, we, <laughs> we live in Tennessee, so like that's not going to happen uh, here, uh, luckily. Um, uh, yeah, but he's worried about tsunamis. He's worried about floods and volcanoes. He's he is really big on that. And then what was the other one? It was like, oh man, I can't remember. But yeah, so that's his that's his big thing is natural disasters. Okay, so um, here are a few that you can talk about if you wanted to do this. Um, do you think recycling should be mandatory for everyone? Why or why not? Should plastic ba bags be banned in all schools? Give reasons for your opinion. Like these are, you can do all of these and then you could do it for Earth Day opinion writing. I feel extremely uncomfortable doing that for my products because um, this is like third to fifth grade type thing. And I, uh, I go mostly up to second grade, maybe I would say first grade, depending on the school district. But um, that is something you can do with a um, something that you have in the membership. You can do that, um, and you can make them really super cute. Okay persuasive writing even. My grandson used to freak out when he heard that there was a tornado somewhere about 2,000 miles from us. Yeah, we had a little bit of a tornado thing too, especially when we lived in Memphis because like you could, there were tornado sirens. So um, what else do we do? Mm. Oh yeah. And you know what else my son, my other son is really worried about is car crashes. Like he's like obsessively worried about it. And it's like, my child, no one, no one has, no one has gotten in an accident. Like you're okay. It's okay. So we, we talk about feelings a lot. All right. Um, let me see what else. K kindergarten craft earth day, kindergarten literacy, earth day letters, earth day Lorax. I would stay away from, um, earth day art lessons. That would be fun. You could do like, um, like a little planet and you could do different like types of Zen tangle in each one. I wonder if that's already been done. I'm sure it has. Oh, those are cute. A sea turtle. Oh, oh I love all the little sea turtles. Honeybee. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. So in my brain, I was thinking you could have like an earth like this and then just do different things like different types of decorations in them sort of like this except different in my brain those are so cute though hmm, i love them okay um what else could we do l j no there's no j's h oh we could do an earth day crown protected species but i like that um, a hat, um, vocabulary, obviously, bulletin board, bingo. Oh, I love bingo. Okay, so like we haven't done bingo in like, hold on, hold on. Let me see the last time we did bingo. <laughs> we haven't done bingo since like last year, friends. It's been, Almost a year since the last time we did bingo. Oh, we should do bingo. Okay, let me. Oh, okay. So I just downloaded some holiday cookies. Let's see. Extract all. I'm going to put this over here. Oh, it's still. Uh, how do I extract? How do I do it on this computer? Bingo cards. Do I have enough? Oh, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, not quite enough. I could do three by three though. We could, okay, you know, <laughs> we're doing it. All right. 
we knew we were doing this, friends. Let's be real. Okay, so let me just see what else for ideas. You could do bookmarks. That would be fun. Um, first grade, a flip book. That would be fun. And then all the grades. <laughs> Uh, directed drawing, a door decor, that would be really cute. Scavenger hunt, STEM activities. So for like STEM activities, you could even do like, these would be fun, these STEM activities. If you, especially if you are a science teacher, which I'm not. Oh, ouch. Oil spill, STEM challenge. I did that when I was in fifth grade and it was like, the most life-changing experience of my life. What we did was we had, um, very similar to this, uh, we had a little thing like this, and then they gave us a string, and um, they're like, okay, <laughs> figure out how to clean up this oil. And so someone put the string down around the oil. They put it around the oil, and then they put uh, Dawn dish soap in the middle and it like spread it out to the to the string and then they could pull it up with the string. And I was like, that is insane. Because like if you just do it normally <laughs> without the string, then it just goes to the edges and then all the shores are dirty and then everyone's not happy. So it was like a life changing experience for me. Um, and I still remember it in fifth grade doing this um, oil spill cleanup in upstate New York. Yeah. So if that's something you're interested in, that would be really fun as well. Build a bird feeder. That would be cute too. Yes. I love all of that. Okay. So what did we say that we, we're going to do bingo? Okay. Bingo. And let me show you all my favorite things about bingo. Okay. So here's the thing um, about me. Um, the only thing I like more than more than write the room is bingo cards. I don't even know if I have my bingo generator on here. Hold on. I don't. Oh no. Oh, I can't do it. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can. I don't have, I don't have it. How's that? Dark? Oh. I didn't know this. I haven't updated it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a... I haven't, I haven't updated it in a long time. Okay. So let's go back to download. Let's go to holiday cookies. Okay. I know. I know. How do you not have your job? I know. I, um, well, because I haven't made them since last year. That's why, uh, I got this new computer and I, I've been downloading things as I need them. And I'm just like, I've been staying away from bingo cards because, you know, uh, I don't know. I'd like, I enjoy suffering. I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, so let's go, uh, over here to add-ins and we will insert a bingo table. And it'll come over here, and we're going to do three by three. There used to be another thing, but that's fine. You can do all the way to 10 by 10, but we don't have enough. Maybe we could do four by four. What did we have? We had 12? That's not enough. All right, so we'll do three by three. And then there it is. We'll make it bigger. Oops, hold the shift key so that it stays in the right shape. There we go. And then you can hold, yeah, hold the shift key. There we go. All right, so there we go. You're trying not to enable. <laughs> I, I, I just feel like how many how many bingo cards is too much, you know? It's things I ask myself often. All right, so we, we had it create this table. The thing is, maybe you might not realize you can still edit the table even though you're using this tool. So take this, uh, grab it on the edge right here. So like, if you so basically if you go like this uh it'll only fix that part so you want to grab it on one of the edges like that and then go up here to table design 
And I like to do three point right here under table design, under draw borders. Um, I like to have it be three point and the pen color black. And then I come over here to borders and I do all borders. And there we go. We got this nice, thick, beautiful border. And then do shading. I do white just so that it's not um, see through uh, yet. Um, and then I like to, okay, so what are we doing here? What's that? Hmm. Okay. So I have these over here. Hmm. I want to see what these things, oops. Oh, well, oh, well. Um, I want to see what these are. Let this add in. So you got the insert additional bingo table. That's fine. Just leave that the way it is. I sometimes delete these extra ones just because I don't like having that much. But you don't have to. You can leave it just the way it is. Um, there you go. Okay. And then... What are these other ones? Helper function, please. Okay. All right. So pl place selected objects into bingo table. Oh, I love that. All right. So we're going to, we're going to look at that. All right. This, this has changed since the last time I've used it, which is great. Um, but it's not like that on my other computer for sure. Um, Earth Day. So let's add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, well, that's nine. Okay, so maybe we'll take this one off and take this one off. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then maybe this. Well, okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just take these over here. And then we're going to grab all of it. Except apparently this one. And then we're going to make it smaller. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to delete this guy and we'll come back and get a new one. It's fine. All right, grab all these again and hold the shift key and make them smaller. And then what we're going to do, we have them all. We're going to add in. So we're going to go to helper functions, place them into bingo cards. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Look at it. Oh, I love that. I love that for me. Okay. And then we're going to insert additional table again. We're going to delete most of this because I just don't like having that much, you know? Um, there we go. Oops. Okay. We learned something new today, right? That's so cute, isn't it? Mm. All right. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to add some other things. So we added all of this. Let's add this piece on. Well, this recycle cookie, and then this seedling, this soda can, and this garbage can, and this water bottle, and that's good. And we'll drop those in there. We'll bring them over here. And we will grab all of this, hold the shift key, make them smaller. Now, what if I do that? Can that go into? <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to try something. All right. So we grab everything and then we ungrab the actual table. There we go. So you got to grab everything and put it into the bingo table. And that's fine. All right. So then we're going to hold control and shift to make this smaller. And we're going to, it's going to radiate instead of have to be adjusted. That looks great. Man, that looks great. I love it. I love it so much. Good morning. Um, I love it. I love it. 
I'd probably make this one smaller too, though. Shift and Control. There we go. Maybe make this one smaller. What just happened there? What was what was that? Undo whatever you just did. Okay. You know what? Perfect. It's fine. All right. So we have this. Now we, we, we still have to do the rest of the stuff. Okay. So I don't like that. <laughs> is this i am new is this your bingo generator it is my bingo generator um and then we write bingo i'm gonna change this to be bigger though thank you you're welcome uh i think the uh oh gosh the uh link i don't have it up hold on Oh, that's too big. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Bingo, Jen. There it is. Okay. Uh, and then we'll make this smaller and centered. See, I don't like that. So if we're going to go with a different one, like ask why. I always like ask why. It's a good bingo <sighs> font. Stop it. You're being rude in front of people. Come on. 175. All right, that looks good. And then what we're going to do, because I can't live like this, we're going to right click, we're going to format shape, we're going to come over here to text options, we're going to text fill and text outline, we're going to give it a solid line of black, and it's going to be like a three point line. And then the inside color is going to be this bad boy here. And then we're going to be like, okay, but I also want... <laughs> this blue here and let's also grab a pink and maybe a brown and maybe oh actually this yellow and then this brown there we go isn't it beautiful oh okay i just joined the live where are these cute clip art images from? They're so cute. I just made my Earth Day bingo last night. Um, this is, I believe it's Erin Colleen. Yeah, this is right there. Um, let's see. View large icons. Oh, yep. Here we go. See? Erin Colleen design. I love her clip art. Oh, her. She's fast. Okay. She always has these cute little cookies and they're so cute. So I'm going to press control and shift and make this bigger because I've decided it's not good enough. All right. Um, oh, also add your name. So I'm going to just put a little thing right here. So if you do shift nine, C, shift zero, it'll make a little, like make a parentheses. Um, parentheses C, it'll make a little copyright for you. And then you write Beth and April. But you would probably write something else because your name's probably not Beth and April. And if it is, oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> I'm going to change <laughs> to Stanford Biography because I just like that font. I just like that font. Um, Stanford Biography. And then, you know what? I just noticed was this other Stanford font that I was like obsessed with a few days ago. Not that one. This one? Mm, yeah, I don't like that. Okay, and let me see really quick. I had another one over here, I think it was. You've never heard of her. Oh, my gosh. Well, now you're going to. Erin Collie. No, it's Erin with an E. E-R-I-N. Erin. Maybe we'll do red hands. That one's always a good one. But I don't like the way that it looks. Okay, so um, let me show you. Erin Colleen is her name, and she made these super cute clip arts. I'm going to take this off um, just so you can see. Very cute. All right. 
and that will go in our um, uh, our terms of use page. You write down, or you don't write down, you add their um, thing, their logo. It's such an overcasty day here. The sun is out for like one second and then it left. Okay, so we did all of this to create our cute little bingo cards. I don't think I'm gonna add a background. We could add like, I have this little, <laughs> I made this little thing one time. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I made <laughs> this fun little border one time that I can show you how to make. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just cute. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't fit this page, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, you would just have this cute little thing. Um, basically, you just take all the things, all the clip art, and put it around, and it's fine. Okay, so here is our bingo card. Uh, so all you do from here, I don't think I'm going to add a background. No. No, I don't think I am. And I don't think I like this brown. I think I'm gonna make it this red. Hmm. Hmm. That's fine. Okay, so we have our bingo card that we like. And look how cute it is. Okay, so now we're just gonna come over here and generate bingo cards. And then it's like, okay, do you want to keep the sender as a free space? No. Do you want to keep the top row as a title and not shuffle it? No. We're going to make 34 bingo cards. And then warnings in advance, text. We don't have to do that. Okay. And then press okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, um, I don't have my license on here yet. Hold on. Where does one find their license for this? I bet it's in my, oh, okay. So, <laughs> oh, darn, okay. So, um, okay, so maybe, dot com slash bearwood, you just like, well, I guess it would probably be my email. Let's see. Uh, bingo generator. My downloads are ready. Bingo generator. What's that? Bingo gen. No, it's not called that, is it? It's called like bingo creator. There we go. You bought this. Yes, I did. Okay, let me view my content. All right, this is my email. Sorry, I have to uh, re-download it. <laughs> uh, confirm email, okay. Um, where are we? License number, there we go. Download that, and then open that. There we go, ooh, perfect, okay. So I can't let you see it, obviously, because I'm sorry, um, but we'll take this and we'll put the license right there and then update. Oops, not update. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, where do you put the license at? Um, so it'll say preferences. You click this and it'll come up with a thing. I can actually delete it over here and it'll come up with like a little menu that says your name and your license and you put it there. And then, so there, I have it now, hopefully. So we can delete these if we want. Then, <laughs> then we're going to generate bingo cards. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. 35. We don't need to do that. Press OK. And there you go. Look at that. We just created 35 bingo cards. So there you go. That's that. Easy peasy, nacho cheesy. All right. And that's it.
that's all you have to do uh, to do the actual bingo cards. And then what I like to do is I like to take this whole thing and duplicate it. And, and then I grab this guy, I delete bingo, and I delete this part, and I backspace this part. And then I grab these and put them over here. And then I grab this guy and put him over here. I grab this guy, put it over here. And then I take this whole thing and I hold the shift key and I make it bigger. And then actually I'm gonna grab this and make it taller. And then we'll grab all of these and make them bigger. What we're doing now is making the calling cards. So I made these too big. So we'll just make them a little bit smaller. And then you put them at the top right here. <clears throat> and then you add a text box and you say, um, garbage truck. Now, this is not a child facing thing. So it's fine if you want to use a pretty font. I just don't like doing that. That's too big a font. So I'll put it down to 40. And I don't like this font. Well, I love this font. I'm sorry. I love this font. I want to do something else with this. Like this one. And then I never thought to put words on my calling cards. Oh, that's a great idea. Because then, you know, like, have you ever done bingo? I guess I've done a lot of bingo in my life because my kids are always in classroom parties. Um, and they're like, what would you even call this? Uh, and like, and you know, as the person who created the bingo cards that like there's a pink flower and a purple flower. So if you say like, flower when you're calling and then everyone does their flower and it's like a yellow flower and a pink flower then it would impact the bingo so i always add i just always add words all right so um earth and then shift um control d to bring it down here There we go, and then a water drop, and sun. All right, and then we'll duplicate this, and we will delete all of this, and then we'll grab four more, and hold shift and make bigger. And then grab this guy. Grab this guy. Grab this guy. And then some of them are too big, so you just make them smaller. No big deal. Grab this guy. This is why these trainings are so helpful. You learn little things that you never thought of. Yes. Yes. I love, like, work with me videos like this because of that. Because, like, I don't know. Whenever I, so, like, I watch, I, I watch these all the time. Not mine, but I watch other people's um and i love learning things because like people just say things so casually when they're like an expert of something you know um like they're just like oh yeah you just um you do this drop down menu here and do this and then you're like oh my gosh what <laughs> you know it's like i love that i can do that for you guys um <laughs> uh, but that's why that's that's the main reason why i love um these um these work with me videos because like like i do these all the time so i do them the way i do them and then like you guys are like oh what about this this is really cool and then we try more things um so i love i love like collaborating with you guys almost it seems like and i love that you learn things okay recycling bin and then i'll call this like a sapling sprout i don't know water bottle and then a flower and we'll duplicate this we'll delete this 
then we'll put this here and then we'll come over here and then we'll hold shift and make it bigger and we'll put it right there we'll click off and then come over here and then here we go these hands what font is this um this is ka weekdays it's actually free on teachers pay teachers uh, let me see if i can find it for you um teachers pay teachers it's called um ka fonts you just go to ka fonts and then you click on her little name right here i love her fonts she has uh she also has daydreamer which is like my favorite uh you come over here to the sidebar and you look at free and then you go to fonts on our custom categories and then you'll find these little fonts elementary is also free um it's a cutie but i like this ka weekdays and honeycomb it's actually in every template set that I that I send you guys um I add this font um let me show you go to some trio to the membership I'm gonna go to products and let me go to templates and uh, let's go to Easter right the room. It's right here. Check out one of my favorite font combos, KA Honeycomb and Weekdays, because it's just it's just so pretty. Okay, so let me. This is how you would see it. Um, mm -hmm, there we go. So you have the YouTube video, and then you have the clip art ideas, and then you have this action step, and any tools you might need, like this Canva template, and then you have a transcript of the video coming soon, and a write the room template in the files. It also has a, um, if you had, if if there's not captions on it, and you want captions, you there's a Chrome extension that will uh, let you do free um, captions, which I think is cool. All right, so we'll close out of that caitlin albani albani so ka fonts look that up and then her free things and you'll get it um there we go okay morning bethann teaches everything yes okay <laughs> uh now i want to do more bingo cards and add the word to the calling cards maybe i'll work on some spring bingo cards today yes that's a good idea so i um the last bingo card I made, I think, was um, the Pirates one. And it was so beefy. It was such a... Oh, man. I'm so proud of that one. I love it so much. Light bulb. Um, and then this is like leaf. <laughs> leaf heart. And then uh, a tree. Look at those cute little leaves. So cute. All right. And then duplicate. And then... And then you can just highlight this whole thing and press backspace and it'll get rid of it. And then delete, delete. And then grab this, put it here. Grab this, put it here. And then grab both, make them bigger. And change this to be trash can. Change this to be so we can all right um i do appreciate you going to subtree to show what it looks like you're welcome um i enjoy making bingo cards and word searches they are easy with the powerpoint add-ons yes and you can like bundle them i joined late how many different images do you suggest for bingo so i suggest that you um, find the clip art first that you like, and then decide how big you're going to make your bingo cards. Um, so these ones, I only had like, what, 12 things that I liked? 12, 13, 14. I had 14. So I didn't have 
Uh, ideally, you'd have at least 24 for uh, the 5x5, five five, uh, but I didn't have that, so I just made smaller bingo cards. <laughs> uh, 14 or 16 is good for the 4x4, four four, and then all you really need is 9 for the for the three by three, but I like to add extras on the outside as well, uh, just to give you more selection. Um, but yeah, uh, anything that's more than what I do is, so the three by three, you need at least nine. And then the four by four, you need at least 16. So if it's between nine and 16, then I'll do three. And if it's between, you know, 16 and 25, then I'll do the four by four. And if it's, if I have more than 25 or more than 24, then I will, um, uh, do a five by five. Oh, I'm so sorry for sneezing in your ear just then. Um, whew, please forgive me. Uh, whew. Never thought to bundle bingo cards and word searches together. I have zero bundles right now. Oh my gosh. So here's the thing about bingos. <laughs> about bingo is that I love it. Now, what I really wanted to say was that the thing about bundles is all you really have to do is have things that can go together ever. So like, it's just basically adding adding something for them to purchase in addition to what they're already getting. So you can do bingo cards that are Earth Day. So like, hold on, I'm really thirsty. You can do, I mean, we've talked about bingo cards in the membership. No, we've talked about bundles in the membership. I think I said bingo cards. But anyway, um, basically, you can bundle by like anything. <laughs> you can bundle by all of your bingo cards. For example, you can bundle by um, month. So like April things and spring things and, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that. You can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Um, you can do um, like by month. So everything that would be good in April, you can do seasonal, you can do um, Earth Day things. So like it, literally all of your Earth Day things you could put together. You can do like centers. So like you could even say that bingo is like a, a learning center. So like when they do group learning in like, like imagine a like close your eyes, <laughs> imagine a bingo or a bingo classroom. Oh, I love bingo so much. Um, imagine a kindergarten classroom, like in the middle of the day, they're trying to learn things in small groups, but they can't do small group. Like they can't, you can't, you can't teach everybody at the same time. Right. So in some class, in some learning, uh, in some centers, they're doing like, uh, Play-Doh or something to make the shapes um, of things like Earth Day things that some people are using Legos to build. Some people are doing like matching of like literacy things like letters with uppercase and lowercase or some people are learning to read with um different things like that. Some are doing like a little craft, like there's all these different things that they can do in the classroom. So like when you, I used to think about it like, well, there's only one classroom. So like, you're not going to want to have five different, <laughs> um, you know, Earth Day resources, because like you can't do five things in a day. But when you think about it, if they're rotating centers, they could do five things in like five different groups, you know, like it makes sense. So I just, I, I think about that a lot. I think about that a lot. I think about that a lot that um, giving them more options of things to do with the same art and the same look and same you uh, is giving them a gift. It's giving them a gift because then they don't have to go around and, buy things from all these different places. They just buy one thing and then they're done. And yes, I did steal Brandon's water jug and it's only, it's, it's not even at eight o'clock yet. And it's almost 10 o'clock. Ah, oh, that's fine. All right. Right now I have an Earth Day activity pack, recycling activity, and I just created bingo cards last night and a word search. That's great. That is great. Put all of them in a bundle. Okay. So 
Um, there's other things that you can add to this. I'm not going to show you all of them right now. I can show you my... Um, give me a minute. I will find it. Give me a minute. Okay. My pirate one. Oh, it's right the room though. Okay. So I thought this was bingo. But um, so you have your right the room. Another thing that I added to this that I wanted to show you was you have, you know, the calling cards, which same idea as uh, bingo cards. And then you have da, 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 da. Um, you have the the um, recording sheets. And then what I did was I added like sentence starters. Like if my parrot could talk, it would say, you know, and then I also added um, writing sheets. So they they work as writing prompts, essentially. And then I had a word wall. So I added the words. Um, and another way to do a word wall is to put them all on one or two word things. And then I gave a uh, description of each one. I asked Chatty for this. I asked Chatty. And so those are things that I added to this that I felt like just give it a better experience for the teacher. Because like, I just, I just thought it would be a great idea. So I encourage you to think about like what else you can add to your bingo cards to make them better than everybody else is, basically. Uh, <laughs> which is such a, a rude way to put it, but I thought it would be silly. Apologies. All right, so chat.openai. We can just go over here and um, we can say, good morning. I created a set of, I'll just say three by three bingo cards for my uh, kindergarten classroom. I am looking for more things to add to this product to make it more useful for teachers. Can you please give me 15 ideas of things? A simple add-on for the bingo cards for younger grades. Have them practice writing the word that goes to the image. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, an instruction guide, printable tokens, uh, call sheets. We actually do printable tokens. I just haven't shown you how to do it yet, but I'll show you that really quick. Uh, blank templates. Oh, okay. So, provide blank bingo card templates so teachers can customize the game for their specific classroom needs, such as adding sight words, math problems, or science terms. That's a fun idea. Um, outline specific learning objectives for each bingo game. Uh, classroom management offer tips on using it. Um, differentiation. Okay, so that's cool. But like, what else can I? Uh, a certificate of achievements. That would be silly. Um, oh, okay. Um, extension activities. Okay, so let's let's talk more about extension activities for this product. Thanks. Um, a feedback form, language variation, if applicable, provide variations of the bingo cards in different languages. Oh, that's fun. Um, offer a take-home version. All right, story creation. After playing around a bingo, students could be encouraged to write a short story based on the winning items or themes from the bingo game. This encourages creativity and narrative narrative skills, a scavenger hunt. So I can write the room. Um, a research project. For slightly older students or as a guided activity, children can pick one item from the bingo game to research and present to the class. Uh, they could be a fun way to learn more. Okay. Uh, role playing. If your bingo cards are themed around occupations, animals, or characters, students can engage in role playing activities. So, ooh, yeah. That's great. So if you have like, if we did like the vet vet clinic for a dramatic play, you could also do a vet uh, bingo card check. Ooh, movement cards. That would be fun. A sensory bin, interactive story time, matching game, crafting session. There's so many things you could do. So 
Um, don't let this be the end, friend. You could still do more. All right. So that's that. Oh, and let me show you how to do. Um, I'll just add a new slide here. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go over here and we're going to grab an oval and we're going to press the shift key and then we're going to make it the size of. Well, apparently the shift key doesn't care. All right. Uh, make it the size of the thing. And then we'll come over here and right click and um, uh, well, we can come right here. Make it 2.2 squared. All right. And then we'll copy it and then we'll delete it. <laughs> and then we'll put it right here. Delete all of this, and then paste. I like to make these um, go with the color of the actual product. So you could do like, oops, that is the outline. No outline. Shape fill. You could do greens. Uh, and actually, you could have an outline of black and then make the outline like three point. That's what I would do. And then duplicate. Duplicate and then duplicate and put it like here and duplicate. So then this would be like, you know, this nice little thing. Oh, forget that it's not Kava. Hold on. <laughs> uh, and then just, you know, make it different lengths. There we go. Perfect. All right. The idea is there. <laughs> uh, there we go. And then you could duplicate the whole thing and then change all of these to be blue on the inside, duplicate, and you can change it to be like um, format object. You could do like a gradient fill of this. Hold on. Delete. Okay. So we could make this one be this blue, and then this one be this green, and then you could do both. It could be fun. Oh. And then, uh, I don't know, direction could be like this or this, you know, fun, silly things like this. All right. So there you go. That's the idea. You got calling cards. You have these um, daubers is what I call them. Um, and then you have the bingo cards, which there's 30 some odd of. There you go. Oh, don't forget you want to add your... I'm sorry, you can come over here to new slide and you can go to reuse slides on the bottom and you can grab something that you've already made and add your terms of use. Delete. I like to make this into hmm, we can do that. There you go. And then uh, make sure when you do this, you take this that you have whoop, and you put it into here. And you grab there. Aaron Colleen design. Let's look at that. Oh, okay. We grab this from here, control C to copy it. And then you come down to, ah, come down here and you uh, hyperlink. And then you paste it right there. Bada bing, bada boom. And then you come up to flat pack and make sure it's do not flatten for all of your things. Perfect. There you go. That's all. That's all I have for you today. So if you would like to know how to add this to your store, 
go to, if you're not in the membership, if you're in the membership, this is already there. Um, Beth and Averill.com slash next. I just got so congested. <laughs> uh, all right. So this is a free course that will show you um, about um, descriptions, um, your images for your thumbnails and your previews and yeah, everything you need. So all you have to do is add your little thing right there. Do you not make a title page for your product? I always hate mine when I make them. Um, I don't usually, um, but you could, you could just make a, I mean, it's actually one thing that I created recently. Sorry, wrong button. Is I just like something like that. You could come here. Yes, inside the membership, it's optimized. Let me show you. Um, the trio. That's what it's called. Uh, optimize your product. It's like the third one. <laughs> uh, I could change it to a better thing. Maybe start your. Oh no, mm, there it is. Um, preview. Preview. There we go. Uh, if you go home, oh, that's not right. Go to courses. <laughs> courses. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. It is, uh, this optimize your, well, okay. <laughs> sorry. Do you, can you guys see that? You shouldn't be able to see that. No. Okay. Um, optimizing products. It's, um, it's right here. And then it says, you know, how to optimize your product to add to TPT. So you have your must have pages, your keywords, uh, description, your, uh, thumbnail, your branding and repurposing those thumbnails and previews and formatting your previews. And yeah, that's all. If we don't need one, then I'll stop because I'm never happy with them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need one. Uh, but I just, I mean, I don't. I don't usually. But I added one if you wanted it. <laughs> to the dramatic play ones. Uh, but yeah. All right. Yeah. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, yeah. That's all for me today. What's on your agenda? Let's have a little chit chat. I am going and taking my daughter to the... Look how sunny it is now. Oh, sun's going to come out just as I'm leaving. And it was there right, like, right when I started too. Um, we are going to the dentist today to have my daughter. My daughter's having her teeth removed. Uh, just some of them. Not all of them. She can keep some. Uh, but yeah, so she's been nervous about it this whole time. And, um, you know, you do such beautiful, fun designs. Oh, thank you. You know... People say that. <laughs> you say that, but I really think that the the beauty in um, my products is the really beautiful clip art that I use. So, like, I hear you. I hear you that I make pretty things, but I really think it's just because I have pretty clip art. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, like I feel like uh, without clip art, my stuff would be like, meh, you know, but since I have fun clip art, it's like, oh. All right, that's fun. And that's kind of like how I make my decision when I'm like, oh, should I buy something? If it's like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. Then I'm like, okay, yeah, I should make a product out of that. Because if I'm obsessed with it, then someone else will be obsessed with it. And then they'll be like, oh, should I buy this product that I don't need? Oh, but it's really cute, you know? Um, can I ask what headset you're using? It is really clear. And yes, you do have great clip art. I could tell you. We bought it on Amazon. My husband had one um, uh, when he when we lived in Memphis. <laughs> uh, headset, maybe it's called headphones. No, oh, it's a headset. Uh, yeah. Okay, I can send you this link. 
Maybe I could get the leg. There we go. Does that work? I don't know if it'll work. Uh, I don't know where that goes. Oh, it just went to YouTube and to my Facebook. All right. So it's on the actual Facebook, not the Facebook group. I don't know if you're on the Facebook or the Facebook group. I can't tell. Um, but yeah, it is uh, cyber acoustics. My husband had this when he was in Memphis when they did teleworking. And um, I stole it the entire time we were in Memphis. And then he had to give it back because, you know, he got out of the military. <laughs> the audacity. And uh, yeah, he had to give it back. So I... Uh, I had to give it back. And then I was like, I need a new one though. I can't live without it. I love it so much. So um, yeah, he bought me some headphones for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I tried using like an actual microphone and I've tried using like my um, camera's microphone and I just don't like, I just didn't like the way it sounded. So this is the only one that I've liked the way it sounded. Um, there was a lot of uh, trying to figure out how it worked, like not how it works, but like how to like reduce static. There was a little bit of that for a while, um, but it came out well. Now it's working great and I love it. So there you go. That's what I have for you. Um, if anyone has any questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, I will see you in the Facebook group. Thanks for coming. Bye.